One of the questions that reoccurs regularly when I'm doing Power BI training for different organizations is, how do I take a CSV or an Excel file that's stored in SharePoint or Teams, and how do I get that to refresh automatically? Well, I thought I'd take that question and would turn that into a YouTube video. So let's have a look at this. Here I am in Teams, and in Teams you can see that I'm in a team called Power BI Support UK, and within that team, I've got the Files app open or the Files tab open. You can see I've got some files in there, and of course, one of them is called financialsample.xlsx. You can also see that I've got the opportunity to open the folder in SharePoint. So the files that are stored in my Teams site or my Teams channel are effectively stored in SharePoint Online. SharePoint Online is the backend storage for Teams. So you can see here I've got the same files in both locations or rather I'm looking at the same location. It's just I can either look at that location through the Teams window and interface or I can use the SharePoint window and interface. So let's open up this financial sample in Teams just to have a look at what it looks like. You can see it's a pretty simple file. Now, in order to get at the path for the file, I've got to open up the file in the desktop app. So I'll do that. And from there, I can click on the file and then info dialog box and click on this button here, which says copy path. Now that's going to put the path to the file in the notepad so I can paste that into Power BI later on. What I'll do now is I'll just close Excel. OK, so now in Power BI, all I need to do is click on Get Data and then Get Data from the web and paste in the URL into the form here. However, I do need to modify the URL. You can see at the end there, it's got question mark web equals one. Well, we need to get rid of that bit of the URL and just leave it at the Excel file. Once that's done, then of course I can click OK. Now, we will get an error saying that web browser contents currently support only anonymous credentials. We can click OK for this at this point. Power BI goes away and, of course, presents us with the usual navigator and we can select the sheet that we want. Once we've imported the data, then we can build our Power BI report and publish it in the usual way. OK, so that's the Power BI desktop application dealt with, let's go into the Power BI service. OK, so here we are in the Power BI service, and you can see that I've published this report into my YouTube workspace. This report is called Teams Refresh. Now, if I go down to the data set and click on Open Menu, then you can see I've got the opportunity to set up a scheduled refresh. Let's go and do that. Within the scheduled refresh, I'm going to say, let's keep this data up to date, and I'm going to choose daily. Now, I can obviously add additional times in that day, so I'm going to choose to have this refresh at 9 a.m. So what I'm doing, of course, is setting up an automatic refresh where we'll read in the data from the Excel file that's published in Teams at 9 a.m. every day, and then, of course, my users will see the up-to-date report based upon the latest information. And you can see the notification from Power BI there telling us that the Teams refresh, refresh schedule has been updated to reflect that 9 a.m. refresh time. Now, I also have the ability to kick off a refresh by selecting Refresh Now. Now, I'm not going to do that. Instead, what I do want to do is go and make some changes to the Excel file. So let's open up the Excel file, this time via OneDrive, and go and add in another record. Once that record has been added, I can go back to Power BI, select the data set, and then click on Refresh Now, which of course starts a refresh for me, and you can just see the UI in the top right-hand side there. Now, the refresh might take several minutes to complete, and I can check on that by going to the workspace and selecting data sets and data flows. And you can see the refresh occurring now for my actual data set. Now, this might take a while to happen. And so what I'll do is I'll just 
pause for video until that refresh has occurred. And then once it has occurred, I'll go back to the report by clicking on it. And you can see that the data for May 2021 has now appeared in the report. Now, it's always useful to allow our users to see when the data was last updated. And I can do that by clicking on the drop down menu item here. And I can see both the date and the time that the data was last updated. Finally, in order to keep the data up to date, all I need to do is amend the data in the Excel file, either in Microsoft Teams or in SharePoint. So I hope you like that video. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you later.